Let's look now at more features that are offered. The Analyst comes bundled with a few presets that allow you to jump into the Analyst and work without routing or naming anything yourself. You are able to make presets yourself. The user-made presets are then stored in a subdirectory of the Documents folder on your computer. You can also create more folders and subfolders to your needs in the presets directory. However, if you save a preset called default, it will automatically override the factory default preset. Use the reset default command or delete that preset to restore the factory default. The preset menu is opened either from the main menu located at the top left of the analyst or the main toolbar. Here you can view any factory or user made presets. Folders A to user preset Z are user presets. You also have the ability, as I mentioned earlier, to MIDI learn the settings at the bottom of the analyst. Simply turn on MIDI learn on the selected control and touch your MIDI controller to apply that control to your selected controller device. Selecting MIDI unlearn will deactivate the MIDI control for this parameter. Let's head over to the settings now. Here is where you can set the desired changes to the individual control. So we have from left to right enable MIDI, which enables or disables the MIDI control. Channel, this sets the MIDI channel for the control. When set to naught, the plugin will accept control change messages from all MIDI channels. Next we have CC or control change number. Learn, which once clicked enables you to move your MIDI controller to automatically set the MIDI channel and control change number. Next we have the controls responsiveness, which you can set to very fast all the way down to very slow. And lastly we have control min and control max. These set the minimal and maximum value of the parameter when MIDI controlled or automated. If we head over to the global settings you will find a much larger version of the MIDI learn and automation settings we were just looking at. The plugin also boasts the availability of being able to change its skin. Others are offered on the Blue Cats website which can be downloaded. If you're unable to see one that suits your needs you can also make a custom preset. You have two options when wanting to apply a new skin. You can apply a global skin which will change the skin of all plugin instances. Or you can change the current preset only which will affect the current preset and the current plugin instance. In order to make your own skin, Blue Cats recommends reading the Blue Cats skinning language manual and download some samples. These homemade skins can then be shared on the Blue Cats website. This tutorial overview was meant to give you a good basic understanding of what a more complicated analyst can provide and what uses it has inside the engineer's studio. This particular analyst is available as Mac AAX, Mac AU, Mac RTAS, Mac VST, Windows DX, Windows RTAS, Windows VST, Windows 64 DX and Windows 64 VST, making it available to all serious engineers working with these platforms. The many different instances in which you find yourself using this is incredible. And speaking from personal experience, I've found that now I have it, I simply don't use any other analyst or even refer back to ones I was using before. Because I know this one is accurate, smooth and always up to date. Uh, a little tip though, because I was using Sonos X2's Pro Channel EQ to EQ the samples in this tutorial, the analyst updated the change that was made instantly because technically the EQ is always on, or at least it was in this video. Sometimes with analysts you need to have the EQ inserted in the track first before you go adding an analyst if it is to update itself uh, of any changes you make to the EQ. So just remember to add your EQ first and it should work brilliantly. So let's just recap over the main features this analyst has to offer. It offers mono, stereo or mid-side spectrum analysis with the added bonus of being able to view multiple tracks at once. It boasts data sharing technology which allows it to support multi-core processors, response curve measurement and EQ comparison with its ability to display the difference in the frequency spectrum. Use of precise zooming and measurement, drag inside the graph to zoom and right click to zoom back out. Save curve readings for comparison, letting you make the slightest adjustments in EQ and full MIDI and automation support. 
The other tip I would make though is not to rely entirely on the visual aspect of mixing. You can sometimes become too reliant on analysts to do all the hard work for you and miss the most important aspect, and that's to listen. Your ears hear more than your eyes can see, and the best role for an analyst is hand in hand with your ability to listen closely to the changes being made. Think of an analyst as a map. It can show you where to go, but you still need all your skill in order to get there. The same applies. The analyst can point you in the right direction, sometimes with pinpoint accuracy such as this one, but it still needs you behind the desk listening and making the right decisions.